hey, 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 let's talk about easy come, easy go, and what that means or how that relates to growing and supersizing your business. Sharon Hornell from here, also known as Pajama Grandma. I love looking up, and it's just a, a new project for me, but I like looking up what do sayings, expressions, words, and idioms mean, and how do they affect our human behavior and how we look at things. As I've been growing my online businesses, transitioning from the brick and mortar world and the corporate world to the online world, I've gotten a lot more interested in the details and the nuances of things like human behavior than I ever was before. I wish I'd known some of these things and paid attention to these things in my offline world and in my corporate life, but I was so busy running through my life, I wasn't really paying attention. So now that I have a little more time to take a deep breath and pay attention and look at things and understand and learn more about things, which I love learning, I, it's really fun for me to look into these idioms and easy come easy go is a pretty cool one it's a pretty fun easy <laughs> I guess freewheeling um, happy-go-lucky type of expression but what it really means and it's been around with since the 1300s Joffrey Chaucer in Canterbury Tales wrote about easy come easy go things that come quickly and easily to us can be just as quickly and easily lost Think of fame, fortune, um, winning a contest, notoriety. Nowadays, influence, being an influencer online. One day you can have millions of viewers. You can do something or say something that isn't perceived well by those people. And the next day you can be nobody and you can have nothing. One day you can be a nobody and the next day you can be a huge influencer or a famous actor or a famous actress or have an incredible business. It's usually not easy come in those instances, but people don't know that. People see get rich quick schemes and they think, or get rich quick people or overnight successes and they think that that's how life works. Easy come, easy go. Or some people are just lucky. Some people just win the lottery. But we all have heard the statistics and how grim they are in lottery winners. Lottery winners within three years, I believe it is, most of them, but like the 90 plus percent of them are worse off than they were before they won the lottery. How scary is that? So is luck, is, is luck really something we want to count on? Is easy come, easy go something that we really want to think of as our philosophy for building and growing our business? Me, I vote no. I want to make sure that I am building my businesses on a solid foundation and on good human principles, not on human nature of, you know, and, and beliefs and thoughts that just because this is the way it has been in the past, this is the way it's always going to be. So easy come, easy go. I'm sure if you think about it for a minute or two, you can think of experiences or people in your life that you've seen this happen to. Maybe it's happened to you. I know it's happened to me, easy come, easy go. Sometimes in businesses, you know, great customers have fallen into my lap and as soon as they've fallen in, something has happened and they've gone on to someone else. Um, there are flaky customers right in the world there are flaky people that we end up in relationships with that come into our life like a rocket ship and then go out just as fast as a comet right we've had relationships like that probably most of us where a friendship or a romantic interest has you know just appeared out of nowhere and then they kind of disappeared almost as quickly as they appeared in our life after you know being with us for a while or impacting our lives the same can be true of customers vendors vendors come and go like like easy come, easy go, right? And it depends on how much you put into that relationship, how long those relationships last usually, and, and how much the other person puts into the relationship. But relationships and building relationships and working hard and building our businesses on a strong foundation of, of good business practices and principles and treating people right, all of those things aren't easy come, easy go, right? They're hard, they're barriers to entry. And the reason, not many people start and succeed at their businesses is because they don't want to put forth the effort. They want get rich quick. They want easy come, easy go. They want to just do what they want when they want where they want. Now, okay, I'm guilty of that too. In my pajamas, I'm telling you. <laughs> but, but that's why we have our own businesses. But we work hard to create that and to create the structures and the systems and the foundation so that we can do what we want, where we want, when we want, with whomever we want, wearing whatever we want. And some of us like to wear our pajamas um, because it, it, it indicates to us the level of freedom that we've attained and that we can do, be, and have whatever we want. So easy come, easy go. I actually, 
really like this. I didn't realize how ingrained this get, not get rich quick, but this easy going, go with the flowing aspect of our lives is. And the truth is we should go with the flow of our life. We should do things that feel good to us. Going with the flow is doing things that feel good and feel right for us. That is different than easy come, easy go. And it's also, when I think of easy come, easy go, we also want to approach our businesses and our life and everything that we do, especially in our businesses um, and the decisions that we're making with a an unemotional detachment, as in we're excited and we want something to happen and we want the outcome, but we can't be attached to the absolute specific method that we get the result that we're wanting or that we won't take more for a result than what we're asking for or wanting as well. So we have to do what feels good for us, but have a detached sense of how exactly it happens and how it shows up for us and still kind of go with the flow with what feels good for us, but not so much that it's just a easy come, easy go, laissez-faire attitude that whatever happens, happens, man, and, and we're just going to go with it. And, and that's okay, too, depending on your personality type. For me, that would never work. i got to have a plan. I know the plan's not going to work. It's going to change all the time, but i got to have some kind of an idea of where I'm going. Again, we're all different. What works for each of us is different. So today, think about easy come, easy go. Are you making short-term choices and decisions for your business? Those are prime examples of business easy come, easy go. Yep, you can get some short-term strategies and wins, but you know that's like tactics and our, our short-term tips, tricks, and tactics are short-term little boosters for our business, but we have to really build our business on a solid foundation of systems and processes and procedures and you know, really being focused on our customers. That's it. That's enough lecture for today. Go out, make it an awesome day. Have an absolutely feel good, easy come, easy go day. And I'll of course be with you tomorrow. Bye.